Hey y'all, it's a cold December day here at Boone Down South and we're working on a little upgrade. I've got this a while back because I need to upgrade my kayak cart. So you've seen probably, you might have seen a review I did on a kayak cart a long time ago when I first got my Bonafide SS127. It's time for an upgrade. That thing worked. Um, it's good for, you know, mostly level ground. It probably worked fine. It's very cheap compared to, to this model right here. This is the Wilderness Systems Heavy Duty Kayak Crate. So we're going to open this up, go over it, check it out. So uh, stick around, hit the like and subscribe. Yeah, so what I found out with that other card is if the ground was pretty even, like if you go across the, in a park area, like someplace in Pigeon Forge I go to and put it in the city park and they're just kind of rolling grass and a little bit of that, you know, it's, it's fine. But some of the places I've been going to, it's like, whoo, 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 and there's ruts and everything else. And that other one just couldn't cut it. So, you know, I was looking on forums online. I'm, I'm part of some of the, uh, the bonafide forums and stuff on Facebook and whatnot. And, and pretty much hands down, when people poll on what's the kayak crate, what's our cart, what's the best kayak cart to use with that SS-127, it comes down to this guy right here. I mean, hands down across the board. I mean, there's some other ones that people talk about, but predominantly this is the one. Supports 450 pounds of weight, which ought to be plenty with all the stuff on my kayak. In fact, this thing's supposed to hold it so well together that a lot of people say, I don't even use the straps, which that's just a bonus. So we're gonna find out if all that's really true. So let's get this thing opened up. All right, let's see what kind of parts we got in here. It's packaged well. These are the flat 12 inch wheels right here. And I think that's gonna be part of the difference with this cart. And I assume our hardware and straps and whatnot in here. So let me get this plastic off of here and I'll kind of show you what, what we're talking about and why this is the cart people talk about for the Bonafide SS127. This is what makes the difference right here, okay? If the kayak is running this direction, this is what fits underneath the kayak. Most of the kayak carts have something like this and they've got you know a V-notch like this to kind of hold a kayak, right? Because if you think about it, most kayaks, the hole is shaped like this from you looking at it from the front. But a Bonafide, the SS-107 and the 127, they're catamaran designed, so they kind of come up and then in like that, right? So you got this part that comes in underneath. So that's the beauty of this, because this fits right inside the grooves perfectly. So the, the uh, SS-127 would just fit right on top of this thing like that okay so there's a low and a high setting and we're going to use the high setting uh with these tires and that gets the kayak up off the tires and everything and lets it run smoothly so these are all the piece parts you get basically your your main supports your axle bar your blocks for the axle bar the uh, bolts for that the, the the threaded nuts for this and then some two uh straps and these honestly these look like kind of chintzy straps to be honest with you for something that costs this much i would have expected a much sturdier strap thicker material uh because this is expensive y'all i'm just saying it is expensive uh for a kayak cart it's one of the most expensive ones out there but again everybody says this is the one but again they say you a lot of people i say they say you don't need these okay but this is honestly this feels these straps feel chintzier than the than the like 40 dollar kayak cart that i got before honestly these this material just it doesn't seem like as much. So anyway, hopefully I won't need these. But we'll get this put together and show you what it looks like. So again, this is a support structure. These are the axle blocks. And the only difference between the low and high setting is either you're going to mount the axle blocks on top of the setting with your bar going through, or you're going to mount it below with your axle down below. So that's how we're going to mount it today. And basically it's just you take these two bolts and these threaded nuts, you run them up through here, through your axle blocks. like so, run them through the kayak cart, support, and then we're gonna snug these down. So, uh, you might have to push it on there, it's a firm grip. Got your bolts through there, lock them down with this, and you're good to go. So, we'll get these done. Okay, once you got your blocks down, loosen them up a little bit, take your pins out for the axle and the shaft right here, 
and basically you slide that through the square in a block and then what you want to do is you've actually got some uh, cotter pins right inside here that you would lock into get that one snapped in place and then over here you can get your tire on Got that in place and tighten up your tighten up your block now that you got it on the axle and basically this is going to clamp down on the block so basically what i'm going to do once i've got this done and i get my kayak ready i'm going to figure out where these need to where these two bars need to go in here to be the perfect fit inside the catamaran hole on the bonafide and then i'll lock these down and basically you just lock these down like we did before and and it locks on the bar. There's going to be no movement here at all. Here at all. So far, I think this is a, a big improvement over what I was using before, for sure. So I'm going to get this other one put on and check it out. All right, there she is on the high setting. And again, these are going to go inside the holes. So the kayak will drop down a little bit on either side. But I think with it sitting inside the holes, it's really going to lock into that bonafide which the other carts really just don't fit it that well so that's really why i went with this i want an expensive cart because i put two years in with the old cart and uh you know rougher terrain was a little bit struggles but we're gonna try this out here soon hoping weather permits gonna head to one of my favorite river runs uh later this week and it's a pretty good stretch of, of this stuff getting to it we're gonna give it a go all right y'all this is the maiden run of this uh wilderness systems heavy duty kayak cart and I got to tell you, I done took my blue Bonafide S127 down and we didn't do any adjustments to where I set the bars, the support bars. They're pretty much about as wide as they're going to go on either side. And it just fit inside that catamaran hole. And it was beautiful, I will tell you. It's probably, uh, when you look at that run, it's, you can't really tell, but it's a lot of this going all the way down there. And where you see the bridge is kind of a, a fake thing. You kind of think you're getting close when you get there, but you still got like twice as far to go. So it's probably 350, maybe even 400 yards of a run up and down and uh, it worked well so we're fixing to put it on this other ss 127 here and uh, roll it down and and basically we just drop it up and set it down there on there and it's like beautiful no we didn't strap it in which is save it time and everything else so so we're absolutely loving this so let's see here we go wide here roll it back to the back and i'm just uh you kind of looking here how it fits in these holes right here See the grooves right there and you just kind of set your kayak on it and then i'm gonna show you down there you can see how nicely how that sits up in there so the kayak just, it stays really solid so really happy with it so far so we're gonna run it on down you guys can see how high that bonafide rides on that wilderness kayak there above the wheels no straps no nothing man it's just nice and easy what a time saver not having to put straps on this stuff man as we cut through here this is just a uh, I know it's a lot of money for this cart, but I'm gonna tell you, um, I'm already deciding that it's, it's definitely worth the money to go ahead and get this and not fool around with the, you know, the cheap $40, $50 carts if you got one of these Bonafides. This is just a perfect fit for it. And basically, you know, everything I've seen online, people say they, they love this thing, and that's why I went with it with everybody's recommendations, and, and so far it seems to be working out really nice. All right, and just to show you guys, it all packs in here. So, you can take it apart, a couple cotter pins to uh, pull the wheels off, loosen these up, slide this right off the axle, and uh, all tucks in the storage hatch here in the SS-127. So, yep, portable, easy to put together, take down, and really does the job, so happy with it. All right, just to wrap this up, this thing did its job. We gave it a good test, two runs, two different kayaks, and after... You know, running this thing through, I am convinced I made the right decision to go ahead and upgrade. This is pricey. This is just my final thoughts on it. It's pricey. I didn't like paying for it by any means. But I'm going to tell you, it, uh, A, it worked very well. No more issues with it bouncing around. No more straps getting caught up on the wheel and getting busted out. And it fit the Bonafide perfectly. So really, I mean, it's a perfect fit. And the fact that I didn't have to even put straps on this thing... That made it all the better because just it's a time saver having to, you know, put straps on. Usually I'm running two kayaks, you know, I'm with somebody, one of my buddies fishing and we're taking two kayaks out. And so, 
you know, we'll just put it on one and go get the other. And, you know, you're strapping, unstrapping. And, and uh, this just this saved a lot of time. Not having to strap it down. It tears down easy. Folds up in the kayak. Fits into modified. So, anyway, that's my final thoughts. It's expensive, but I'm glad I got it. So, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Y'all take care. Hey.